Let's check now with meteorologist Kirk Greenfield for another look at the forecast. Kirk, it looks like this weather in the 70s is coming to an end. Yes, I'm afraid we've had our last 70 degree day so far this week, but don't worry, it'll be back a little later in the season. When we take a look at our radar satellite composite, we can see some heavier downpours that swept through, and now it's massing for another round of showers going through the Mid Ohio Valley even as we speak. Now, we're not concerned about flooding at this point, but we are looking at the intensity of this building one more time in the Marietta area. When we, oh, it looks like our camera has dropped out there. The High Mark West Virginia Sky Camp says we're at 58 degrees, 100 percent chance of uh, rather 100 uh, percent relative humidity, which means if the picture was up, you would see that fogginess. The winds out of the northwest at seven and the pressure 29.93 inches is steady. When we take a look at our current temperatures, we're at 62 in Charleston. We're at 58. Same for Athens, 57 at Cincinnati, Columbus and over in Wheeling as well. So not much variation here. The winds are generally calm. Our most recent report in Parksburg from the northwest at about seven miles per hour. Uh, we're about three degrees warmer than we were yesterday at this same time, but elsewhere there's been a warm up by comparison. It looks like Athens and New Philadelphia are about 11 or 10 degrees warmer than they were last night. Now when we take a look at our radar echoes again, the yellows are the cells that are just a little bit heavier crossing over now near Reno over into uh, St. Mary's. It does look like you know, into uh, Vinton County there's another band of heavier showers, but it's not a torrential downpour and it's not training through the area. So uh, we're not too concerned tonight. It's the cold front that's focusing this energy as we've had a lot of showers and uh, moisture moving up to collide with that colder air that's coming out of the Great Lakes. It's all pinwheeling around a low that's behind the banner there. Futurecast suggests that we'll continue to see showers as we go overnight, at times a little heavier, but as we get into Wednesday afternoon, it looks like it'll start to pull out for the evening and leave us with cloud cover as we go through Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And most of Thursday morning looks like it'll be cloud cover, but not raining. So our forecast suggests 54 for the overnight low, rain at times tonight. We only warm up, if you can call it that, about five degrees up to about 59 tomorrow with, again, showers likely through the course of the day. And when we look at the extended forecast, the overnight temperatures will drop down to 44 as we head through the rest of the week. We will warm up into the 60s and then we have a rain event spilling into Saturday where once again we drop our temperatures through the 50s until we're just about at that freezing mark for Saturday. Saturday night. Sunday's high is only 46 and then we drop below freezing again for a couple of nights. So those of you who thought this spring was here too soon. We're looking at temperatures that will be climbing back to at least the 60 degree mark by next Tuesday.